is January 12th, all day. And these historical events occurred on January 12th, this day in history. In 1803, the U.S. Senate approves Thomas Jefferson's nomination of James Monroe and Robert Livingston to negotiate the purchase of New Orleans from France. Hey, by the way, that was a big purchase. Wow, that's a lot of land for only, what, $15 million? Hmm. Word of advice, buy real estate. They're not making any more of it. In 1906, the Football Rules Committee legalizes the forward pass, and it's going to ruin football, according to all of these sportscasters. It's a problem. The forward pass is a problem. In 1915, the U.S. House of Representatives rejects the proposal to give women the right to vote. So close. My class better know now that it was in 1920 that they did get the vote. First thing changed, prohibition. Not a good way to start out, ladies. In 1939, Timely Comics, later Marvel, founded by publisher Martin Goodman in New York. By the way, Marvel is better than DC. Even though I love Superman, Marvel's better. It just is. In 1959, Barry Gordy Jr.'s Tamala Records, which later becomes Motown, begins operating in Detroit City, Michigan. Some of the greatest music of all time. Thank you, Mr. Gordy. I appreciate it. 1971, All in the Family premieres on CBS featuring the first toilet flush on TV. By the way, I wish they still made things like this. They can't anymore. Think about why they can't. Maybe fix that. In 1979, a record blizzard strikes the U.S. Midwest. It says Midwest, killing over 100. I remember that. I remember the blizzard of 1979. It was two feet of snow, and I had to shovel our driveway which was a private drive, which was at least 100 feet long, maybe longer. In 1995, the murder trial against O.J. Simpson begins in L.A. Of course he didn't do it, right? In 2010, an earthquake devastates Haiti, killing approximately 160,000 and destroying the majority of the capital, Port-au-Prince. It's terrible. And in 2017, U.S. President Barack Obama, in a surprise presentation, awards Vice President, now President, Joe Biden with the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest award a civilian can get in the United States of America. What happened each date won't be a mystery if you subscribe to my channel for this date in history. Like, share, subscribe. Let's check out those comments for even more January 12th history. If it's your do you think there's any mold in this place? Hey, are you finishing that? Are you done with that? Are you? Could I get a box for that? Why does this place smell like leather and horse feces?